Hello guys, welcome to Photographics Academy. So in this tutorial, I'm not going to draw you through on how you can design your photo book in less than 15 minutes. Okay, this software will help you design your photo book very fast. Okay, it has everything that you need to design your photo book very fast. So I'm just going to show you step by step on how you can achieve that. And guess what? I'll be dropping the link of this software in the description. Okay, make sure you download and use. But you have to watch the video to the end to see the password. Okay, so let's dive into the software. Let's open so that you can see how it works. Yes, look at the software here. So once it has opened, so you could see new, open and tutorials. So you just have to choose from new. Let's say I want to create a new photo book. You can see some presets here that you can use. Look at all these things are presets, sizes that you can use for your photo book. So, but my, I'll just come here and choose a custom because I, I already have a, a size I want to use. Okay. Then you leave your resolution to 300. It's very, very important. Says we'll be printing. Okay. Let me choose my print width to 28. Okay. I am giving my in inches. You can give yours to centimeter of pizza, but I'm using my in inches. So look at that. So the next, I'll just click on next. Then choose the gap between images to two points. Okay, that's what I want to choose. You can try other size, but that's what I want to choose. I don't really want to bother around the images. I just want it to be zero point. So I'll just click on start. Okay, then I will now rem rename my, I'll just choose a name for my project. I'll just choose wedding photo book bga yeah just choose any name that you prefer so look at that it's opening yeah look at the software so this is the opening of the software so you remember to watch till the end of this video to see the password of this software okay the link is down in the video description so let's take you step by step on how you can achieve that very fast so here is the software that you can use to achieve this then let's say here is my wedding pictures that I will be using for this photo book. Let's say I will just highlight all, just highlight all, control A and drag all of them to here. Okay, look at here. It says drop images here to import them into the project. So I'll just I'm importing it to this software so I can use all this image for my photo book. So once I'm done importing. So it's very simple to use. So I'm just going to start choosing how many pictures that I want to be in each spreadsheet. Okay. How many pictures I, 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 I would want to be in each spreadsheet. Let's say I'm choosing this one, two, seven, four, five. Let's say I'm choosing this five for this first spreadsheet. I just highlighted this five to three, four, five. So I'm just going to drag it and drop here. Okay, drag images here to create new spread. Okay, when I just drop it, I look at that. It has already created a new spread for me. Okay, that's how simple it is, guys. Then look at that. Then I'll just come on top of here. Here you can see different template that you could use. You see that it's very simple. Different template that you could use for your spreadsheet can see different template it has a lot of template that you can use here guys so depending on the template that you want so it's very simple they have done almost all the job for you just for you to drop in any template that you could want to use okay look at that a, a lot of templates here that you could use okay it's very simple to use let's say i want to stick i want to start with the first one let's okay now look at the first one. i want to start with this one now you can see the rise so here is the first in is the first cover here is the second cover of the photo book you get so here is the full spread so that that's how it works let's say i want it to fill in to this space okay i'll just click on it double click on it then it will come up i'll just highlight all the pictures in the spread hold my shift and alt okay and click on it look at that i'm spreading it across 
the square sheet to cover it up okay let's say i just want to spread it more to cover it up you just have to do it this way look at that it has fit in to my square sheet the pictures has fit into my square sheet then look at what i could do i could just add a background to this to this square sheet that i've seen okay i could just add a background just come here click on it look at that you can just choose a color Okay, look at that. I just choose the color. Click on it. Come here. Choose another color as you prefer. Look at that. Okay, even if you want to use the same color, look at what you are going to do. Just come at the center here. Double click on it. Click on it. You can just choose a, a color that will. That will be for the both of them okay look at that look at how simple it is then even if you want to adjust these pictures individually it's very simple to do guys so look at what you're going to do you just click on any of the picture if you feel like scaling it up look at that it's very simple you can scale it up you can copy and drag it okay it's very simple to do you can come here you can scale it you can come here and sorry you can scale it Sorry, this angle, if you want to tweak it and just click it, you can just come here and drag it. Look at that. Very simple. You can just highlight this one. Anyone that you want to work with, you just highlight, okay? You can bring it down a little. You can use angles to tweak it like this if you wish to. Yeah, if you want to reduce the opacity, you can use this to um, reduce the opacity if you want to. For me, I, I don't want to reduce the opacity then. If you want to add a border, you can just come here. Look at that. Add a border. Okay. Okay. Once you add a border, let's say I'm choosing six point for this border. Just come here and choose a color for your border. Okay. Look at that. Choose a color for your border. Look at that. Okay. Look at that. So you can just come here again. Choose a color for your border. Look at that. Look at that. Depending on what you want anyway. Yeah, you can just play around with everything that is here to see what you want. Okay. So, but trust me guys, this is very simple to do and it's fun to do. Okay. Remember to watch till the end to see the password of this software. That will be dropping, okay? Yeah, look at that. So yeah, I think I'm done with this first spreadsheet. Then I'll just move to another one. It's very simple to do, guys. So I'll just move to the second one. If I want to move several, well, look at that. I've, I've, I've just highlighted the second one. I'm here in the second one. So what am I going to do? I'm, I'm not going to select features again that I'm going to be using for this second spreadsheet. Okay, let's say I want to use these pictures. One, two, three, five. Right. I'll just drag them and drop here. Okay, sorry. Let's go back. So, let's say I want to use these pictures. One, two, three, four, five. I'll just drag them and drop here. Okay, look at that. It's very simple. Then I'll just come here again as usual to choose a template. To choose a template that I want. How my photo book should appear okay let's say i want to use this one okay i'll just click on this one i'll just click on this one yeah yeah look at that so i'll just have to click on the spreadsheet again if i want to zoom it to cover up the spreadsheet the images to cover up the spreadsheet i'll just put my shift odds and scale it okay yeah, depending on what you want, I'll just scale it. So once I scale it, I'm good to go. So so look at that. Look at that. So what if I want to use one as my background? Okay. What if I want to use just one as my background? Let's say I want to use this one as my background. Okay. Of this spreadsheet. So I'll just come here. Right click. You see where they said make spread background image. Okay. Once I click on it look at that okay it has already it has already assumed the background for me 
So I can still choose a template that could suit it. Okay, look at that. Look at that, amazing. Having this as my background already. Okay, look at that. I could just choose a template that could suit that. Okay. Look at that. I just choose a template that I could prefer. I'll choose that. So let's say I want to use this template. Look at that. Look at how simple it is. Use it this way. I can still highlight them like this. I can still use my highlight them like this. Use my control and scale it up. Okay. Sorry. I did not highlight this one. One. Two. Three. Four. So look at that. I'll just have to scale it up by like this. Look at that. It's very simple. Look at that. So I can still choose a border if I want to. I can still use my uh, use my angle to tweak it if I want to. So it's very simple. So this is just how you can design your photo book in a space of 15 to 20 minutes. Okay. So look at that. It's very simple. Okay. Look at that. So like this, you could add the first sheet again you can just come here click on it so click on it go back then you are now in this sheet you can just add another one and just add another images if you wish to one okay. let's say i want to use just two images i'll just add and drop them here so i will choose a a style that can fit what i want to achieve okay i can just Maybe try this and put my right up here. Okay, after exporting. So for my cover. So whichever one that you prefer. Okay. But I believe this could save you a lot of time. Okay. So let's say I want to use this. I, 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 I want to use this. And I want to use this as my background. I can just make it a background. So look at that. I can just. I can just give this like this. I want to use this as a background there. Look at that. So after doing all your after building all your all your spread, look now. I just have three spread. Okay, and I've used 12 images out of 27. Okay. That's how simple it is, guys. So after that, you can just come to here, your spots, click on it. So just ignore. Yeah, I want to export. Then export for print. I'll just click on that. So you just choose anywhere that you want to save it. Anywhere that you want to save it. Just choose anywhere that you want to save it. Me, I'm saving into my document. Okay. Yeah. I'll just choose all spread. I want to use all spread. So choose the format to be. jpeg choose the format to be jpeg you can choose it as a pdf depend on what you want you can equally choose adobe indesign if you know how to use adobe indesign or you can even use photoshop better yes you can still use it inside photoshop but it is better version okay look at that psd file so you can also use this as a psd file in better version okay so but i'm choosing jpeg already so use your color profile as srgb it's very very important once you are printing then you just come to export okay then you you can come to change quality then look at that the image quality the jpeg quality is 100 you can reduce it if you don't want to but may i prefer 100 you can just scale up the 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 resolution 120 is okay you can push it more here is a, a, a sharpening preset you can leave it to high medium is recommended i'll just leave my to medium okay export like this for sure we are going to see what we have produced in just in this top okay remember i'm just trying to take you two step by step so you could consume less minutes to achieve this so it's very simple after exporting the exporting is 
is complete. Look at that, guys. So look at what we have achieved. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Look at all. What we have achieved. So it's a very high res that you can print. Look at that. Everything is still intact. It's a very high res that you can print. You could see that. So guys, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to this channel if you're not a subscriber. And always turn on your notification button to always get notified each time we drop a new video. See you in our next video. Thank you.